In today's video, we're going to look at a new template called Press View, which takes advantage of the VPress plugin, which is an alternative to VPress for adding markdown features to existing VPView or React projects. Markdown has become a popular choice for content creation due to its simplicity and ease of use. It allows developers and content creators alike to focus on the content itself rather than worrying about complex formatting options. However, adding markdown features to existing projects can sometimes be a challenge, especially if you don't want to adopt a new framework for your entire application. And that's where the VPress plugin comes in. This plugin is designed to be a universal solution for adding markdown features to VPView or React projects. It aims to implement a suite of universal markdown powered features that can be reused across different project templates, allowing developers to freely copy and incorporate the same set of markdown feature folders to power markdown content features across a range of websites built with different technologies. To highlight the flexibility of this plugin, we've created two new templates, and today we're going to focus on the Press View template, which is a VTView application. And it can support multiple technologies because the plugin makes the markdown features available to the Vite app, while the rendering itself is optimally implemented in Vue and React components using Markdown It and Remark MDX respectively for Vue and React. In addition to support for Vite View and React projects, we're also supporting the same feature folders using C Sharp and MarkDig for our Blazor SSR and Razor SSG templates. One of the goals of this VPress plugin is to implement a suite of universal markdown powered features that can be reused across various project templates. And to achieve this, the plugin uses a set of markdown feature folders to organize the content for each feature. The plugin then makes it easier to reuse that markdown content in different renderers in a more consistent way. Unlike our other templates, the Press View and Press React templates don't use .NET. So this means we can take advantage of tools like StackBlitz, giving us an easy way to view and edit our application and content, all from your browser that integrates directly with the GitHub project as a template. Of course, you can still use your preferred IDE tooling like VS Code, WebStorm, or Visual Studio. For this video, for simplicity, we're going to stick with the use of StackBlitz. So you can access your own instance of this using the URL stackblitz.com forward slash github forward slash server stack forward slash press hyphen view. So this is just StackBlitz, the name GitHub, and then the organization and repository of the GitHub repository you want to access. Or you can just follow the link in the description to open up this template in StackBlitz in a new browser window. And very quickly, we have a view of our solution on the left-hand side, our code in the center, and the running application on the right-hand side. In our Solution Explorer, under the Source folder, we will see four directories that start with an underscore. That is Includes, Posts, Videos, and What's New. These are our Markdown Feature folders. Includes provides reusable content that we can include in other Markdown content. Posts controls our blog posts, videos so we can easily include embeddable videos like YouTube videos, and what's new is a summarization of features that we can include as updates. The VPress plugin supports these feature folder types out of the box and provides the metadata from the schema and the document available to the renderer. First, let's have a look at the developer workflow or even content management workflow we get when we're creating or editing content in Markdown when using this template along with StackBlitz. Here we can enter what's called send mode and we have our content on the left and the preview of the results on the right. If we open features.md in the includes folder and on the right hand side scroll down to the features section, we can update the content in features.md and our changes are reflected very quickly. And now if we look in the index.view file in the source pages directory, we will see the use of the include component referencing the source features.md. 
and this is how this content is being injected into the index page. If we scroll down on this index page, we will see the link to the about page. And if we look in our pages folder, there's an about.md. So this whole page is created as markdown content. But not only that, we have the same feature content rendered into this page also with our changes intact. And if we look in the about.md file, we will see a triple colon include referencing the features.md file. So we can reuse content in the underscore includes folder anywhere in our project, be it a view file or another markdown file. And the same goes for content in the other feature folders. So the template provides everything you need to create a great looking blog or content heavy website and also gives you all the control to customize it as you see fit. All the rendering is done in view pages and components that you can change as you need. If you look in the source components or source pages directory, you will see it using the virtual press injected property in all of the different pages, controlling how that's rendered using standard view. A good example of this is how the blog works in the pages posts directory. We have the index.view page, which takes in the press injected property and utilizes all the content from press.blog.posts. All the extraction of data and content was done for you thanks to the vpress plugin. If we then open up the in brackets slug.view component, we can see how an individual post is rendered. A slug or an identifier is extracted from the route and then used to locate the associated blog post and the related content. A data from that blog post is then used to render the page, extracting title, content, etc. So not only do you get a great content management experience of updating markdown files for content rich applications, you also get a great development experience with the same hot reload and it can be done from anywhere thanks to platforms like Stackblitz. And if we look at the schema for a blog post, we get everything from the doc type as well as summary, author and image. So straight away, you get a blogging platform that supports features like minutes to read, word count, tags, etc. If you want to make a page to highlight different videos, you can use the underscore videos feature folder and you can have groups of videos with markdown files under a specific folder. In this case, we have a folder called view. Each one has front matter that links to the video directly and provides a description of the video to present on the video's page. And lastly, we have the underscore what's new feature folder. Here again, we can create a folder for a single release or update where we can then describe each feature in individual markdown files that get previewed and concatenated together to be presented on the what's new page. So if you're looking for a way to easily incorporate content rich markdown files into your application, regardless of the platform is Vue, React or even .NET, check out the VPress plugin and the Press View template. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback about our templates or videos, please let us know in the comments. The VPress plugin and templates are all free and available to use, and I'll leave links in the descriptions if you want to check them out. And as always, thanks for watching.